Wow, look at this. It's a pack of 12 plastic eggs that are white. This is pretty awesome. You can do a lot of DIYs with these. These are similar to the ones that are at Dollar Tree. I think actually they're the same. They have these ones for sure. little pack of carrots. They're glittery. I think they're similar to the ones at Dollarama. They do have a ton of Easter stuff. Ooh, I like these plaques. So these are dollar. Oh, yeah, dollar. I love the beads on the top. Even if I change this, I could do something cute with it for home. Oh, this one's two dollars. Okay, so the ones that's on purple and say Happy Easter are two dollars. <laughs> These are so cute, little nests. Oh, I need one of these. I think I can repurpose it. Yep, definitely grab one of them. Super cute. Yikes, I think that's a little too pricey. $10 for that. $6 for this one. Again, a little too pricey for the area, especially knowing you can go and find something at Dollarama or even at Michael's with a coupon. I'll walk down this cleaning aisle here and just take a look at some of the pricing. I don't, I think I've only ever bought one thing here from their cleaning products. Just, oh, the Windex actually. Um, just because I find their prices are a little bit too expensive because you can find things on sale at the grocery store or Walmart or even buy them bulk at Costco for a better price, especially when it's on sale. But yeah, like three fifty for a container. I don't know. I just you have to be really cautious with pricing. Sometimes things look like a good deal, but they're not. So this line here is at Dollar Tree as well. It's the same price here. problem is all the pricing is on the back so these are at Dollar Tree as well and so here they're $1.50 oh, it's just shimmering powder for baking and then they have other items here oh candy melts I will have to keep I have to remember that these are here for $3 that's a better value I believe than Michael's I'll have to take a look at the grams though that's the other thing you have to compare um, these look fancy as well They have quite the assortment, I must say. Like, this is awesome. He likes things of chocolate. Oops. Mm. 
It's not so bad for sprinkles either, so I know where to go if I need baking supplies. Oh, I do like Nivea. Let me see what this is. Oh, that's a little pricey. It's $8. It is a bigger tub, like a deeper tub, but I still prefer to pay a little less than that. Let's see what else is down here. I was like looking at the little organizational. Oh, something like this. Multi-purpose jars. There's three in a pack, so there's three sizes here. And that's not badly priced at all. So if you have little gems and stuff you need to sort in your craft room. I love these little glass medicine droppers for crafting, but also for my essential oils. This aisle is um, a lot of brand, uh, the brand is Selectum, I believe, yeah. And it reminds me that I need to make a pop into, what is it called? The surplus store, because they have a lot of this stuff. Oh, this is cute little pom-pom. They have the brand Selectum.
so in this section here you actually have the option for three felt for the for one dollar or three foam pieces and this stuff here is pretty good if you're doing paper crafts and you need to do layering or shakers or something like that i'm going to take a look at some of these other little more i call this like the kid craft area but sometimes you can really have a lot of fun using some of these things in paper crafts So coming up in this aisle here is a ton of the wood pieces and these here you can save money Come for us because this is Canadian, right? Um, oh, I think I'm going to grab a pack of these. So you're going to save some money when it comes to wood here I find compared to Dollar Tree. I don't know why but I find their pricing is a little bit more reasonable when it comes to things. It depends on what it is. But see, these here would be at Dollar Tree, and because we pay a quarter more and plus taxes, it all adds up. So these are new to me. So these letters are actually at Dollar Tree as well, These the shape here, and I think I'm going to grab a couple letters right now, because sometimes it's hard to find the letters that you actually need at Dollar Tree, and I'm going to grab this one S that's left. This is a different style. Ooh, this is a great value. Wow, I pay like a dollar per piece if I buy these at Michael's. That is a fantastic price. Those are great for making shaker wands in the back. Oh, I love these two. These are a little bit less expensive at Dollar Tree. What else is here? Magnetic. Actually, I'm going to take a look. Somebody was recommending I take a look at Canadian Tire or like a home hardware store for the magnetic sheets that cover vents. So that's where I'm going to head to. To go and grab that so thank you again for your suggestion these are glass and i really like them they're quite pretty oh look it's like a little light bulb
I have had some really great luck with their deco art here before, especially like the crackling type medium. And it's always nice to take a browse because like triple thick is really great as well. So if you need things on a budget, definitely peek in because they have, oh, ooh, look at this. This reminds me of like that crisp, uh, almost like the glass glitter. So this aisle will typically carry a ton of Forever and Time line or brand. I love their clear stamps. I've had really great luck with them with my projects in the past. And they're really reasonably priced. They're usually $1.50 or $2. So if you want to play around with acrylic, these paper stacks are now at the Dollar Tree. So if you're needing paper for pocket letters or paper crafting, take a peek. Bought a boning set to put in my giveaway. If you haven't watched my dollar, my latest Dollar Tree haul, take a look at it because then you can enter to participate in the giveaway. I haven't closed entries yet because I haven't given you guys numbers. As soon as I start assigning numbers, I'll close the giveaway and then I'll do a metal charm. These are cute little dolphins. Then I'll do a live giveaway on my channel. Hopefully next week. Yeah, I think I'll do that. These are cool. Yes. They're glass beads. Let me know if there's something in this video that, in the craft area of course, that says, hey, if I won your giveaway, um, I wish to have that. So just let me know if there's something that sticks out to you. These Forever and Time gems are at Dollar Tree as well, the same price. So now I know to get some more here if they ever discontinue at Dollar Tree again like they did for a while. So yeah, a lot of these beads and things like this are at Dollar Tree as well. At least our local Dollar Trees. I'm pretty fortunate and lucky to have this line. These as well. And they're only $1.25 at our store. So I saved some money in certain places. So I'm pretty aware of what I can and can't get these are interesting at the two stores so i can work my way back and forth so this year as well i'm gonna have in the giveaway so yeah if there's anything that you see here that you wish you could get let me know and i will do my best in putting it in the giveaway and especially if you're the winner i'd love to know like what would you really love to have because then I'll definitely put it in the little box. Do you know what I mean? Because everyone wishes for something different. So I, re I really truly want to send out something that's going to make your day. Is it the kid in me that absolutely loves stickers? I love looking at walls of stickers. Like this makes me... I don't know. I just love looking at them. Does anyone else love stickers as much as I do? And you know what? I don't even use them a ton, but I just love having them. I have albums filled. If you guys have seen that, it's pretty embarrassing. These are gorgeous too. Um, I have shared on the channel how I organize my stickers and flip through my albums. These are cute. But I've been really good lately in holding back from buying like a ton because I was like I go crazy some days. Of course, it's like easier some days than it is others to have 
bit of self-control, but there are so many stickers here. So many. Oh look, there's the little bumblebees that were at Dollar Tree not too long ago. That's not too bad. You can add them to like the little, a lot of you guys are making, oh these are pretty. They're like scrabble pieces. Um, a lot of you are making the, the little bumblebee nests. Oh my gosh, what are they called? Hives? Bumblebee hives? Out of twine? And those little bumblebees would be cute accents. These are at Dollar Tree. Look at that. These are really pretty. Do I need them? Do I get them? No, I'm gonna put them back. This is awesome. So these are the same packages that were at Dollar Tree not too long ago that sold out super fast. I did manage to get a couple packages, one for a giveaway as well. And these are cute, they're velvet. They're little velvet bags. A dollar per piece, which is a little bit expensive. So this is another area I really like walking down. I can do a DIY with these little egg holders right now for Easter. But yeah, I like to walk down this area here, the kitchen aisle, because there's always something for storage purposes, such as these, you know, containers for your craft room, even for organization throughout the house, all of that stuff. But they're typically like found in the kitchen aisle. So I'll walk down here and kind of browse and see what's available. Lots of storage bins. Well, I guess this is kind of the storage bin aisle, but it works in t kitchen stuff as well. I don't know, it's kind of like a, a mix and match.
I'm a little bit freaking out right now because these are the same patterns and the same company that was at Dollar Tree and I bought like giant tea towels from this company and oh, that's crazy it's kind of fun to see like gold and bronze back because wow this is quite heavy actually um, back in the day gold was so popular and it looked to me like it looks so dated but now it's back in and it looks very classic and stuff so it's interesting to see that colors do come back I'm always I always like to have little what are they called I like to have smaller tongs on hand for smaller foods just to pick up appetizers and stuff I hope you enjoyed walking around your dollar store with more today. I look forward to sharing my small haul with you guys. Until next time, everyone, have a wonderful day. Bye for now.